Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a long time, but I've been busy at home with the boys. Obviously not doing anything, <laughs> just being busy. I was gonna film a vlog today and then I just couldn't find the motivation and I just thought it would be really boring because the last few videos on my channel has been vlogs and it's just gonna be exactly the same. So I thought I would do our evening routine in lockdown. It's a weekday, so the boys have been doing some schoolwork. We've made some monster masks today, but now school is over. They are just having a snack. They are having a chocolate bar, which I've allowed them to have. You can go in the garden if you like. Of course, it's a bit chilly. It's a bit windy. Yeah, you've changed your mind. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I am just going to run the bath. Oh, I find to yes, of course. No, I don't want to do it. Okay, <laughs> this boy just changed his mind so fast. I find that giving them a bath earlier, while I've still got the energy, works out better. So they are going to have their bath before their tea. So I am just going to go up and run their bath. Now they are down here watching. <laughs> Why are you watching Countdown? <laughs> what are you watching Countdown for? You're funny. What was that called? Countdown. What are you doing, Renzo? Measure him. Okay. Got bread in your hair. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's big. It's 57 centimeters long. That is and so it's big. And it's weird. My wheels are nine centimeters long. Mommy. Nine centimeters. Why don't you measure mummy's hand? How long is mummy's hand? It's 15 meters long. Meters? <laughs> Good boy. My hand is. 12 <gasps> centimetres long. Wow. It's 12 centimetres long. So does that mean your hand is nearly as big as mine? Yeah. <laughs> it's 5 metres long. 5 metres long? That is 4. 4, do you mean centimetres? Miss mine's. <laughs> you 10. Wait. No, I'm joking. What, how? You, 4. Yes. <laughs> yes, but not. Yeah. yeah. It is, good boy. Let's do A is for alligator. A, A, alligator. And ant, and alligator. alligator. Astronaut. Astronaut. And one more. Apple. Is for Marco. No, it's a song. Marco. And um, salt is a banana girl. <laughs> and mummy and what did, a banana. what did we make today? Eat one monsters mom. and moss. I got it. I got it. I got it. Are you tickling him? <laughs> oh, dad. Renzo, can you get your top on, please? Oh, you're doing weights, are you? Are you doing weights? Here you go, darling. There's your top. Right, bath time is done now, and I'm just going to hang up some washing while the boys just play around. You can't have a chocolate round, not yet. You have an apple? You want an apple or a pear? Need to cut you off a pear? Not having a chocolate round.
Are you getting it on the circles? Oh, nearly. Oh, in the circles. That's okay. Oh, are you okay? Are you alright, Renzo? I didn't get 20. Yes, darling. I'm going to get 70. Show me. Oh! Whoa! Well done! 30. Darling, is your arm okay? What have you got, Marco? I got Oh! You got your stick. And your ball. Well done, Lorenzo. <laughs> Nice boys. <laughs> so we're supposed to be calming down before bed, but as you can hear, um, Daddy's downstairs and he's winding him up. They're actually throwing bean bags at each other and seeing how far they get flown basically <laughs> very irresponsible game but that's what dads do they're irres irresponsible they are reckless and naughty and they always do it before bedtime and then i have to put them to bed when they're hyper <laughs> but at least they're having fun with their dad because he's been upstairs all day um working obviously he's working from home he's very busy so we don't often get to see him and um, throughout the day you want to put some socks on? They've got my fluffy socks, I want to put them on. Oh, I didn't mention the time, it's quarter past seven, and there's no chance of them going to see you anytime soon. I've got dressed, I've got my comfies on now. I'm just going to go upstairs and read the boys a story. And Dan's already up there, actually, so he might read them a story. But, um, yeah, tidied up after dinner. Sorry, I'm rushing around. I don't really know why I'm rushing. I've got nothing to do tomorrow. Um, tidied up after dinner. Kitchen is, well... Dishes are sort of clean. There's toys everywhere still, but I don't worry too much because I know they're just going to get them out again tomorrow. And I kind of think, oh, by the time I put them away at like eight o'clock at night, they're going to be getting them out at six o'clock the next morning. <laughs> I don't know. The child is carried in the air, the wizard lizard in his lair, his mother's and his silver's here, and finds that worms will bring him near. The seven crow of Black King Green. Everyone is scared of him, they're all led to have fearful shriek to see their hero in his beak. The wizard waves his magic flower, now Superworm, you're in my power, and you must tunnel, riff and coil to find a treasure in the soil. Superworm is very cross to have a lizard as his boss, but when he tries to slink away, the wizard's magic must makes him stand. Daddy, yeah. Daddy, what do you want? What do you want? That's right. For days he tunnels, twists and wins, but all the treasure that he finds is two small buttons, half a cork, a toffee and a plastic fork. The wizard's flicked an angry tail. Have one last try and if you fail to find out treasure down below, I'll feed you to my hungry crow. Ready? Here you go. The crow is flapping through the night. Everyone looks up in fright. Marco, are you listening? They see him perch upon an oak and listen to his dreadful croak. Superworm is good to eat. Superworm's a special treat. <laughs> what are you doing, cheeky boy?